Here's another dagger in the narrative that low to moderate alcohol consumption is beneficial. Researchers conducted an observational study on alcohol consumption and the risk of mortality, as well as a Mendelian randomization study on alcohol intake and mortality. Mendelian randomization looks at genetically predicted levels of intake, so it can look at those who are predisposed to consuming more alcohol or less alcohol from birth. And this approach helps reduce the impact of confounding that can be found in some observational research on this topic. For example, in observational research where people will report how much alcohol they consume, those who never consumed alcohol are often lumped in with those who used to drink alcohol but quit perhaps due to health issues or because they had a history of alcohol abuse. And this can certainly make it look like those who don't drink are less healthy than those who drink a bit. But it doesn't necessarily speak to those who never or rarely drank to begin with. And this idea is supported by this particular study. Those who reported consuming about half a drink a day did have a lower risk of mortality than those who didn't drink. But as intake increased above about half a drink a day, risk continued to increase as well. However, in the Mendelian randomization study looking at genetically predicted levels of intake, there was no such protective effect at low levels. In fact, the lower the better with the safest level being zero. And that was true for all-cause mortality, which is the risk of death from all causes combined, as well as cardiovascular disease, cancer mortality, and some other causes. And this research isn't the first to suggest this. This was also suggested by a study published in 2022, and the Canadian Centre on Substance Use and Addiction also came to similar conclusions after reviewing the research for their latest guidelines. So if you're going to consume alcohol, do so understanding that even low to moderate levels of intake are unlikely to be completely risk-free. But that isn't to say that there's substantial risk in consuming one or two drinks a week.